It's mailbag time. My first mailbag video on the John Audio Tech channel. Let's see what electronic goodies I have in store for potential future videos. But first, make sure you are viewing this video from my channel, my John Audio Tech channel. Had a problem of video theft. It goes on a lot, it seems. So here is some cues to help show that this is a John Audio Tech video. Okay, let's get into this thing. This is from Invistia Mall, who I've ordered from before. Despite saying eBay on the box, it's not from eBay. And they have a lot of these products, mainly inexpensive Chinese boards, except that they're in the USA, and it doesn't take that long to get them in. They seem to be packaged really nice. There's bubble wrap on the things here. So let me just dump these out. Okay. Look at all this stuff. I don't remember everything I ordered. Well, I've done videos on these. These are the PIR sensors, the uh, passive infrared sensors. They're very good, and I decide to buy a couple more of them so I can build some motion sensing devices. Okay. What do we have here? Let's see. One way I open stuff is to, so I don't leave cut marks on my table, I just pin the uh, knife blade in and pull the package like that. And look at that. It comes with a little heat sink with tape that you can affix somewhere. Here maybe? But this is a buck type regulator. I'm going to use it on my solar panel. I will test it out, put it through its paces, and see if it can handle the load. But it does seem to be pretty well made. Okay, that'll be interesting. And, oh, this is a MP3 player. Is it Bluetooth? I forget. Oh no, it has... It's an MP3 player. It has a... Stereo output? You know, I, I don't remember. It's an MP3 player. I thought it said somewhere it has a... Uh, I guess it just has one channel. Or, no, this is a line out maybe. And it does have like a little mono amp on it. Huh. I'll try this thing out and see how it works. And possibly do a review on it. Okay. Let's see. We got something rolled up here. Oh, I know what this is. This is a lens kit for like a cell phone camera. Hang on a second, let me open this up. Yeah, this is a clip-on lens for a tablet or a cell phone. It has other lenses you can put on as well. That's a, that, that's a lens with a cap. 
That's just the lens cap. This was really inexpensive. I, I'd have to look. I don't remember the price. But I don't think it was any more than two or three dollars. And it comes with several lenses. They're not coated lenses or anything, but see how that works out. It's actually aluminum body to the lens. And the lenses are supposed to be glass. I don't know if they are or not, but yeah. That's just something there I thought I'd try out. This is a pack of perf boards I can use for prototyping. And they got some nice copper rings and tabs along the edge. They look pretty decent. Also very inexpensive. If you want to know the prices on this stuff, you probably want to go to the website and check it out for yourself. Let's see what else I got. Well, 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 what could this be? I don't think I got it on the seam there. Uh-oh, another amplifier board. And it includes a decent-sized heat sink that is screwed down that is nice has a volume control and they even give you a little volume knob it has looks like the outputs a jack for power and an input connector i will certainly do a video on this thing but i won't give it away yet just what chip is being used so, stand by. Sometime in the future, I'll be doing a video on this. Have another package here. I think this is it. Charger Doctor. See if you can make that out any clearer. Okay, there we go. I had, for some reason, my camera refused to focus on that. But it is supposed to show you the voltage and the current drawn off your USB port. And I've seen this used in other videos. And it was dirt cheap, so why not try it out? So there you go. Some more electronic goodies. Some of which I'll be reviewing in a future video. So that's it. Thanks for watching.